Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 55 of Europa Universalis 4. We are trying, um, well we're just about to go to war with Siena for Nice. And part of that plan was to take all of our heavies and our transports, move them all down here into the Ligurian Sea. And that should help protect um, and reduce any of the Corsican and uh, Siena ships coming our way. It also means we'll have our transports down here, which means we will have the possibility of being able to put some of our units down onto Corsican uh, land. Um, we can invest in a new technology. We are ahead of time, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to do so. But I think I'm going to hang on to the points just for the time being. It's not going to give us an awful lot. We won't get a boost in trade efficiency from it. And obviously we might need to do a little bit of coring. So we are going to go ahead and wait on that. Just waiting for those ships to get around. They are on their way. Natives rising up and just attacking us where we're uh, trying to colonise. That's fine. So you have arrived. Let us pause. Actually, let us slow things down. Let us go ahead and look at declaring war. Now then, the Commonwealth no longer will come in, which is a little bit of a pain. But I think they are still at war with Austria. And last time we looked, these guys have got literally no um, no power to do anything at all. So we are going to declare war here. Uh, we're not just going to march straight in to Milan. We do need a military leader, of course. So let's go ahead and make sure that we've got one. Let's pray for a good one. And we didn't get one. Let's go and pray for another good one. Wow, two's across the board. I'm going to try one more time. No, that's terrible. That's actually the best one that we got, which is pretty bad. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the um, get rid of the others. Well, actually, I think we can have uh, no, we can we can only have one. So um, let's go and get rid of the uh, the the crappier ones. I can't believe we got such terrible leaders uh, there. Uh, what have they got here? They have a well. He's he's a one six. Wow, six maneuver. That's that's quite quite efficient. Um, let's go ahead and move some guys down into Nice. Now it looks like they are going to try and move into um, Coeno. Should be able to take them. Queno is mountains. When are they going to arrive? On the 26th of August. They will get there before me. Where are they going to go from Queno? Are they going to try and move in on top of me? No, they're not. If I go and attack them, I'll be engaging them into the mountains. They are moving into Lombardia. What about if I was to move you into Lombardia? You'd try and go in through... Oh, no, you're moving into Lombardia. If I was to force march you and tell you to move in, they'd get there on the second, you'd get there on the first. Will they still commit? I've got a feeling they might. Let's stop you guys from moving. Force march you. Let's let them make sure that they're definitely going to commit to that action first. No, they've actually stopped. I don't really... I really, really don't want to attack them in the mountains. That would be the most stupid idea ever. Um... Just check the war. We are at war with Milan, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, so I might as well just go and sit up here in the mountains and uh, start doing some damage to them. There's no reason why I shouldn't do that. Um, is Austria involved? Yes, they are. So let's go ahead and... Um, we've got some Austrian mountains that we can sit in. Grasslands. I think we'll just sit up here for now because it means that we can um, reinforce a little bit more easily. I will keep try and keep my eye on what's going on. Um, these guys are moving, and they're actually moving into hills, which is a lot better for... Oh, no, we've actually... How did I engage them? I wasn't even trying to do that. I thought I'd moved out of the mountains, but I've, I moved into the mountains, which was a, a stupid mistake. I thought I'd cancelled that manoeuvre. That was my own appalling fault. We'll probably take heavy losses here because we are fighting in the mountains. I've got a fair bit of money, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to um, build all the available mercenaries over here and then they could just make up the uh, make up the numbers. Everybody else is going to sit in uh, in the mountains for now and just try and siege things out. So we've pretty much got their um, everywhere locked down here. They can't really get any ships out. Um, I'm hoping we don't lose this battle. Certainly looks like we might do. I'm tempted to... 
Right, how is this battle actually going? I mean, we have the penalty, sure. We got a decent roll there, though. We might actually just come out of this one alive. It was a very, very silly mistake on my part to uh, to lose that, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and um, move one of these groups down into Nice. We can actually uh, stop you from moving for a second. We can turn that... Well, we don't need to stop you moving to turn the Force March off. I don't think we want to chase that guy down. Um, you can, you've got a little bit of siege, so you can go and sit down there for a while. You should be fine. Just keeping my eye on Austria, because of course they are trying to get some troops together up there. So we do definitely need to keep our eye on what they're doing. We don't want them reinforcing. What have we got going on over here? Oh, that's just, uh, that's, he um, that's Hess dealing with a small group. I think they're going to go around and just, um, stomp a few small stacks. I don't blame them for that. We could actually move these guys in, even though they've taken some damage. Uh, we could maybe start moving these guys into um, a bit further into Milan. Uh, maybe even put them into uh, Tyrol and, and go and um, pillage the mine again. That'd be quite a nice thing to do. Of course, it wouldn't make more sense just to try and siege out Lombardia. Because if we can do that, we can get Milan to peace out a little bit more quickly. And of course, it means we're keeping our troops together, which is a little bit of a safer idea. We've got these... Um, We've got these mercenaries over here. Let's consider keeping these guys up in the mountains. Have these guys still got forced march on? No, they haven't. I wonder why they were sort of recharging so slowly. So we've got these Siennan troops coming in. And uh, I have some concerns. So much so, in fact, I'm just going to um, tell these guys to march straight into Nice. No point spreading around all over the place until we've made sure that we can definitely deal with these guys. They're going to arrive on the 9th of November, assuming they don't cancel their move. They haven't cancelled their move. Now, they do get the penalty. Uh, we are about to arrive with a backup stack. Uh, mercenaries might as well just go and sit in Lombardia, because I think we're fine down here. So that battle should go our way. Looks like they're thinking about throwing some more troops in. That would be pretty stupid if they did because they're about to lose this fight. Oh, they are throwing some... Well, they're moving up with some troops, which is a little bit stupid. Um, you're the ones with no leader, aren't you? you? You can just sort of chase down. We'll try and run them down where we can. Just try and catch out some of these small stacks. If at all possible. Yeah, it looks like we caught you. Let's sort of go in this direction. Try and wipe you guys out. Now, our Mil Mil Milan's not involved in this. That's fine. It's just Naples. Sorry, Naples is not involved. It's just Milan. Maybe it'd be nice. If, well, we, could, we won't be able to take Lombardy because it's their capital. It'd be nice if we could take Wallace and uh, Volderstadt because then that we could join up the area that used to belong to um, to Switzerland. But again, I don't want to get too much aggressive expansion right now, so I do have to be uh, careful with that plan still. So things aren't too bad. I'm just keeping my eye out for Austria's army. I don't know where it's gone. Um, I think they're still at war with the Commonwealth. Yeah, they are. Commonwealth, um, I think the Commonwealth are actually, yeah, most of Austria's army, and even saying that, most of Milan's army is actually uh, over here dealing with um, dealing with the Commonwealth, so I think we're okay. We should be fine. Want to siege out Nice, of course. We'll just try and sweep down the coast a little bit. Uh, it's very unlikely that we're going to be able to um, do too much down here in, uh, in Rome. I wonder if it's worth trying to... Uh, trying to grab Rome. What's their capital? Their capital is actually Siena. Maybe we can grab Roma from them. I don't know. I don't want to overextend too much. And it seems a little bit silly trying to grab land in Italy before we've actually gotten rid of uh, Milan. But that's what we should definitely do is work through Milan into uh, Naples and do it that way. Um, I see a little bit of, bit of a fight going over here. So much so I'm actually, I'm actually going to detach a siege and then uh, just come down here to reinforce and just make sure that these guys actually uh, survive this encounter. I'm going to go up to speed 2. 
Um, just because it's a little bit on the slow side there. And I'll move those guys back into the uh, back into the mountains. Uh, you guys probably don't want to be heading towards Austria there because that is that is a little bit of a uh, of a silly idea. Especially if they catch up with you. No, I think they're just heading round to um, support their own troops. Uh, there is a rather large stack coming in here. I can't help but notice. Um, you need to have... Right, do I want to keep your forced march on? Where are you guys heading? Let's go ahead and put this 17 stack. Um, with forced march on, that's where you're heading, aren't you? You are heading... No, you're actually heading to Salzburg. You're what? Um, oh, Melanian troops. You are heading to... The, yeah, you are heading there. You're going to get there on the 11th of February. I will get there on the 11th of February also. That's going to be interesting. Um, detach. Forced march. Move in. Detach. You're already on forced march. Move in. This could get ugly. 11th of February. Well, we actually arrived there first somehow. So they've got the penalty. Which means we should win that encounter. So we just want to end up winning a few sieges. And then we can sort of move in a little bit. And we won't have to be quite so defensive then. So we've won that one. Let's just grab some of you guys and put you back in various places. Um, you don't need to have your forced march on. Now, even though they are technically moving, um, the game is paused, so they're not technically they're not technically moving. I've issued the order to move, but they're not moving yet. We've lost a leader, uh, uh, an advisor, which is our military advisor. We definitely want one of those. Um, I'm going to go for plus 5% discipline. We can afford it. We're at war and we're behind on military tech. So, and we're using force march quite a bit. So it's definitely worth having a plus 3. Definitely worth having the extra discipline. 7% of the way to sieging out uh, Nice, which is really, really nice. Uh, we're on 0% for sieging out Wallace, which is also really, really nice. And... Um, just keeping our eye open for, for stacks that may try and uh, sneak up on us. Let's just go ahead and grab that uh, little stack there. See if we can't go and wipe out that one stack. Most of these people do have pretty poor um, manpower. So wiping out little one stacks whenever we get a chance is actually uh, really good for us. Because it just, keep, it just means they're wasting money and uh, manpower on small little stacks. Let's keep those conversions going. Still investing in new technology. That's going to be admin. There's still not an awful lot of point in doing it right now. That's another battle won. So I think what I might do with this guy is just get him to sort of stomp around and just wipe out these little stacks if if I can. 18th of May, 16th of May. I'm going to get to you first. Well, I should have done. Maybe he changed his mind. I could be force marching here, but I'm only trying to wipe out one stack. So the last thing I want to do is waste a lot of uh, waste a lot of man uh, military points by force marching around when I don't really uh, need to. Uh, I'm going to recall my diplomat from Navarra because I can't really do an awful lot else at the moment. I'm just going to come back and make sure that that guy stays safe. We'll take that big stack and wipe out that two stack just because they're generals there. We don't really want to give them the opportunity to uh, to reinforce. 14% on Nice. That'll be another battle won. Now, I'm just looking here. I can see we've got another stack coming in. You're going to arrive on the 26th of June. I want you guys to force... Uh, which do I want? The big army. You guys. You guys are going to force march in on there. You guys have sieged that out. You're going to force march in on there as well. Uh, you guys can stay there, I think. Yeah, they've changed their mind. What a surprise. You guys really need to stay out of this. Still haven't managed to siege out Nice yet. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more difficult sieging out uh, Pisa, Siena and Rome. But it might be something that we need to do. 
Oh, we've paused, which I'd completely forgot. Are they, are they still want to try and come in? Oh, they're moving up to there, are they? Could we get there first? Right, pause. When are they going to get there? They're going to get there on the 11th. If we move in, we would get there on the 8th. That'll probably force them to change their mind about where they're moving, though. No, they haven't done yet. Yeah, they have now. And they're in the mountains, which is not ideal either. But now they're just kind of sitting there. I do. I would like to siege Tyrol. I really would. But attacking into the mountains is a really stupid idea. This is only woods. If I detach a small siege and march the guys back over here, maybe it will bait them into an attack. No guarantee that it's going to work, but we'll try it. I was really hoping that they were just going to try and jump in. You can certainly go ahead and defeat your little tiny uh, one stack there. Okay then, how about if I move all of you guys to there and put that stack in? So you just have a look. Right, now he's thinking about moving in. When's he going to get there? The 11th of August. We're going to get out of here on the 8th. What about if you just stay there? Yeah. No, you are moving in. No, you're moving into there. 13th. We get out on the 13th. You're going to get there on the 17th. Will he still commit to moving in? 17th. Yes, he's gone in. Right, now that he's gone in... Means we were there first, so he gets the penalty, and we're going to reinforce. And we've got some of our Brabant uh, friends coming to help us. So that's going to be another big stack. Um, not wiped, but certainly uh, crushed. Nothing scary going on down here. So let's go and get these guys and move them into uh, Triol. So what have we got here? We can lose one stability or lose 30 legitimacy. Well, I'd like to do neither, really, but I'm going to take the legitimacy hit because I'd sooner keep the stability right now. I mean, both are bad. Don't get, me don't get me wrong. You don't want to lose either of them. Lose 5 prestige or minus 20% claim, um, claim of the strength of the air. Well, we might as well take the prestige hit. We are in battle, so we will get prestige that way. Lost another advisor. This is our Diplo advisor this time. Um, don't have the money to afford it. We are actually losing quite a bit of money, but there again, we are reinforcing, so that does make a lot of sense. Um, better relations over time, trade efficiency, or diplomatic reputation. Let's go ahead and take the trade efficiency guy, because that might get us out of the negatives. Of course, like I said, most mostly it is because we are reinforcing. Um, these guys need to not have forced march on. It's most of the reason why they're not actually, um, getting their health back. If you guys want to come into... Now, which is the one that has the mine? It's actually Trent. It's Trent that I want to be in. We could go into Trent. Trent is mountains. Commonwealth is still, um, kicking ass over there. We've won the Siege of Nice. Uh, might go ahead and grab the, um, what stacks do we have here? Let's go ahead and grab this stack and move you into Trent and try and siege Trent out. We've got Nice now, which is really good. So what we could do, and this is nice and easy, we could go and um, just siege out Corsica. And do that really, really easily because they've only got two provinces and they haven't really got any way of getting to them. Not easily, anyway. Although you're going to come around and try and unsiege Nice, which is an interesting, uh, interesting idea. Not an idea that I'm particularly fond of. Cancel that move and come back. In fact, I'm going to try and land on here if if I can. Now, that's diff that's causing some difficulties there. Uh, let's detach a siege, uh, force march and move in. And we will... Um, you guys are going to stay there. I don't think you guys can force march, can you? No, because you're on the ship. 
takes you quite some time to land. Right, those guys managed to reinforce, which helps. They've still got the uh, the penalty, as it were. So you guys should get in relatively quickly. Um, you didn't even need to. So you can go back to the original plan, which was Corsica. Just keeping my eye on everything else, trying to make sure that I can see where any uh, potential big scary stacks might come in. Uh, there is an Austrian stack up here. Um, looks like Austria lost that one, so that's fine. I think that I think they actually went straight from one battle into another. I think they were in one battle with the. Um, I think they were in one battle with the Commonwealth and came straight out of that battle and ended up having to fight the Hess or Brabant. So uh, that ended up uh, being quite nasty for them. Just want to siege out a few more of these provinces just to make life a little bit easier. So if we can siege out Corsica, we might be able to just piece them out straight the way. And then we could sort of move over here and try and grab, uh, grab Siena. One another siege. That's quite nice. We can move out of there now. What would be a good place to move you guys into, I suppose? Maybe I'm just going to come down and just, just do a little bit of uh, reinforcing. I think it would be a slightly better idea. We are still losing money. Don't think it's time to disband the mercs yet. I'm going to split this group in half and move half of them onto the other island just so we can try and siege out both at the same time. Technology is literally still our admin tech, so we'll uh, we'll be leaving that one for the time being. But we are over the 20-minute mark, so that is probably a good point to stop. The war is going well so far, but it's still got a little way to go. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4, and I'll see you on the next video. So until then, goodbye for now.